Happy Sunday, everyone. Well, we did have some weather action earlier today for the thunderstorms. We are still expecting that potential throughout this evening. However, it looks like once we pass midnight, things are going to calm down a lot. So let's take a look right here. Coastal cities a bit calmer than the rest of the region. We are just looking at some patchy fog after midnight. We're going to see that for tomorrow morning as well. Otherwise, for tomorrow on Monday to start off our next work week, a lot of that fog will clear out and we are looking at some sunshine in the forecast. Also looking at a slight Chetco effect once again for tomorrow on Monday. Monday at 75 degrees for Brookings. Otherwise, we're looking at 60s throughout the coastal cities for tomorrow. Here we have the West Valleys again, scattered thunderstorms. We still have that potential throughout this evening. Otherwise, mostly clear after midnight. We are expecting sunny and hot conditions for tomorrow on Monday. I know we initially forecasted for triple digits for today. However, a lot of those thunderstorms did provide a lot of cloud cover that kind of took down the temperatures a little bit and kept things a little cooler than initially forecasted for. But for tomorrow, for Med we are expecting 104 in the forecast for tomorrow on Monday. Looking at right around 103 for Grants Pass and 102 for Cave Junction. Upper 90s for Mount Shasta City for tomorrow. East of the Cascades, again, scattered thunderstorms. They're still in the forecast for tonight. Otherwise, mostly clear after midnight. Sunshine for tomorrow. We do have a slight chance for thunderstorms in the forecast for tomorrow afternoon. 90s east of the Cascades. We are looking at right around the 70s for Crater Lake. More triple digits in the forecast. Again, we still have that excessive heat warning in the forecast until right around Tuesday evening. 11 p.m. is actually when that one expires. So we've had it for the past couple of days now. And you can tell 104, 103 for Monday and Tuesday. 100 for Wednesday will slightly cool down into the 90s beginning on Thursday, but otherwise plenty of sunshine to go around throughout this next week. We are going to stay mainly dry. There isn't a lot of potential for precip in the forecast throughout this next work week. Low 90s for tomorrow on Monday. We are looking at upper 90s in the forecast for Tuesday. That's actually our warmest day throughout this next work week for Klamath Basin. Mount Shasta City, we're looking at upper 90s on Monday and Tuesday. A lot of sunshine in the forecast. We're going to start off right around in the upper 50s for Mount Shasta City. Patchy fog in the morning hours for Monday and Tuesday. Otherwise, a lot of that will clear out throughout the afternoon. We are looking at upper 60s on Monday and Tuesday. A lot of sunshine in the forecast, partly cloudy at times. Brookings Harbor, because of the Chetco effect, we are looking at 70s.